This is Dr. Ralph Fuller. I'm an emergency doctor, and I'm here in Ecuador. Puerto Viejo itself looks about 50% functional. That is, half the people look like they're at work doing their normal things. Then the other half of the city looks like it's working to do cleanup, and they're pretty well organized about that. Uh, first, we uh, spent the morning in Puerto Viejo. Uh, it's a city that uh, reported a lot of damage. And in fact, when we were driving through, there was a significant amount of structural damage to large buildings, and some houses are collapsed along the way. There are people awaiting, like people at a bus stop, but they're waiting with uh, buckets and uh, tanks for water. Chone is a it's a less populated small town. They have uh, 40,000 people or so that it serves. Uh, there's a hospital there that has apparently collapsed completely. So we're going out there to investigate. We have a meeting with the hospital director. Some, some I don't, uh, building construction company has donated some of these kind of mobile site trailer home-like things that we see in the United States sometimes. And we're hoping to put several of those in the parking lot of this hospital with uh, tarps between them. We're offering some closed space to consultations and maybe some patient care and then some open space in between that protected from rain and sun uh, to uh, have patients uh, kind of inpatient wards uh, outdoors. There's small populations that were sleeping outside uh, and, and spending their days outside in the sun. They didn't want to enter their houses, so they took uh, our rope and tarps, which we've had donated uh and they spent the afternoon, uh, they're sp going to spend the afternoon erecting tarps as temporary sh housing shelters for these folks that are sleeping outside or spending the day outside.